Okay guys, basically the Honda Civic Hybrid 2006 to 2009 I think actually has this issue with the windows. Basically the driver's side window and also passenger side window sometimes has issues with the track. Not the track, but it's basically um, this insulation piece with the window. I think the window width and the the window width to this the side uh, weather stripping is actually a little thick so sometimes it gets caught so it sometimes happens sometimes it doesn't happen but it sometimes it gets stuck in the middle of that and it's really annoying because sometimes it gets stuck and then it automatically goes back down so it goes up gets stuck and then goes back down so quite annoying so I figured I I solved this issue a long time ago and I was reading the Honda forums and the TSBs and what Honda does is actually they put this grease on these rails here, or not the rails but the grease on um, on uh, the sides. So what I did is because if I brought it back to Honda, they would have, I have custom tint on this so all my windows are tinted and you know just to protect this sunny California it's really really hot so I have very light tint on it. So what they would have done was remove the tent and then, or it would probably hurt the tent, but and then they add, uh, they change out this uh, this weather stripping, or they basically they change out weather stripping, or they put this uh, really slippery silicone grease on it. So over the years, what I've been doing is I've been just putting, you know, yearly, you know, replacing the cleaning it up and changing out the uh, silicone grease on there, and I just basically use that. So the thing you have to learn about this or the, the takeaway is, is is that it's actually pretty easy to do it yourself. You basically clean this up, it becomes sticky or hard and it becomes uh, it slows down your the, the track and it jams it and makes it go back down. What you want to do is basically clean this off with a little bit of alcohol and detergent. Uh, dishwashing liquid's fine and just put a new layer of silicone grease and I'm going to show you which grease I'm talking about in a bit. So on this side, you can see that, you know, the rail, the track here, you know, the grease does get old and it gets sticky. Um, and this is one of the things you have to do pretty much every two years or a year or so. I realize I do it every every year or so. Uh, but you can see that all you need to do is just put new silicone grease on each end of these sides. Do not put it on the top, just put it on each end of the side and it helps guide the window right through. So what we're going to do right now is... You know, there's some silicone grease. These are meant for, um, I guess, waterproof, non-gumming, and all this stuff. It'll eventually gum anyways because of the dirt that it accumulates. But overall, this is actually pretty useful because, like, uh, this one, Silvide, actually works pretty well for it because it doesn't damage the, the rubber and stuff. As water repellent, it's meant for this stuff. Whether, whether, what, meant for uh, rubber and other stripping, weather stripping. So it's awesome for it. And what I usually do is just use a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid and detergent and a little bit of rubbing alcohol, very little, and just clean off the old amount and put a new one and it works really well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to clean out just a little bit of this stuff, just that soak, and just use a little bit of a you know, dishwashing pad. Just remove any of the old uh, residue and stuff that accumulated over the over the course of the year, and just want to take out most of the gunk that's accumulated. See, lots of gunk. It's just normal maintenance at this set you have to do with you know cars and stuff. But this is particular to a Honda Civic Hybrid or Honda Civics of this year, of the 2006, 2008, 2009. I think they, they fixed it in 2011 or so, or something like that, but they just replaced the, the weather stripping to a thinner one, which I don't really care for, and they put on new grease. But most of the time, I think the Honda dealership just puts the new grease on. They don't really change out the stripping. But my solution is basically just clean this thing off with a little bit of dishwashing liquid, and I put a new layer of uh, silicone grease on it that's meant for weather stripping and that the one I've been using it's been I've been using it for years and it's actually been working very well and I didn't have any other problems after switching and doing this 
but my window is being stuck every year and hopefully this helps with other folks. So what I'm doing is just cleaning this out, making sure I get off most of this uh, built up gunk. Now this is from everything, uh, from the grease, the previous grease, uh, dust, and everything. Just cleaning all this stuff out. And we're going to do it on both sides. It apparently it's on, it affects the driver's side window and also the passenger side window. So we're going to do both. It doesn't really affect the, the rear passenger windows, but it's mainly the driver's side and the other one. So that's really about it. You clean this out with a scouting pad that's going to your side. Just have the windows rolled down so you can actually clean it. Now this side is a lot less. But it does, the grease does get a little sticky after a while, so it's always good to probably do this every two years or so. I usually do this every, roughly every two years, but you know, I figure I'd show you guys in case you know someone bought an old Honda Civic hybrid or old Honda Civic and one is wondering, hey, why is my windows getting stuck? Well, the reason why is because the weather stripping is a little tight and the windows they built it so they added a thicker window so it sounds better, it insulates sound but it also catches every so often. So the best way is just basically either bring it back to a Honda dealership and say, hey, there's a TSP on this thing, and you can look it on the internet. There is a service bulletin about this, and what they do is they replace out the weather stripping and put some, either replace out the weather stripping or they basically just put in some silicone grease like what I'm doing right now. So, but they use this uh, special silicone grease that costs like 10 bucks or something like that. Mine's cost by around what? five bucks, six bucks. Probably get a Napa or somewhere, or auto parts store. But it's meant for, um, it's actually meant for weather stripping for automobiles and stuff and it doesn't gum. It's a silicone based grease. But let's just clean this off. I usually like rubbing off all the stuff. This is why you do pretty much, like, like I said, every one to two years. Usually more often if I know that I've been driving through a dusty area. I drive my cars in Pretty dusty area, so I drive a lot of miles on it on my, my Civic. I already have 185,000 miles on this car. So, they're nice and clean. Look at how much gunk we got out of this. This is a lot of the residue that got caught. Now, here's the thing after we use detergent and do it, you know, usually I don't use alcohol because I'm afraid that it might destroy the rubber, and I don't. Um, I'm just using this right now, just detergent, and just rubbing all this stuff off. Now that it's clean, um, I should probably rinse it, huh? I'll just go ahead and rinse it with water. Is this distilled water or just any water actually? Just put some water through it. Make sure now that uh, detergent is still there. I just put some water in a squirt bottle and just do it. But this is pretty light water. It should feel smooth right now. Uh, it might feel a little gummy, but overall it should be pretty smooth if it's a little more gummy and just run it through again and just make sure most of that stuff is off but once you put the new grease on it it's actually going to run very smoothly so let that sit so make sure that now the detergent is still there let's do it for this side too this is just plain water i just want to make sure now that the detergent and it sticks too deep into it so that the oil is going to and what I'm going to do right now is I would use, just dry it off real fast because we're going to apply, it would just dry off by itself, but I just don't want any to leak into the window. And it's just good to just quickly dry it back up. Yeah, there's still some stuff and some goo on it, but overall it should be fine because once we put the new uh, silicone grease on it, it will be super smooth. But we wiped, we took off most of the old stuff off of it. Try to make sure we dry this all out. Yeah, I think this is one of the things that I, I think my, some of my other f friends on the forums and stuff have talked about. So I might as well put a quick link to it and stuff. But yeah, doing this every year helps. Now to put some silicone grease on it. Oh. So as you can see, I've been using this for a long time. This is pretty much the only thing I use this for, the silicone grease. Uh, I use it for other stuff too, but 
I still have a whole tube and it's already been about four years, five years. So you just gonna put a little bit of this stuff. A little kind of goes a long way and you're just gonna run your finger up and down this track and make sure it's inside, inside the track. So you wanna put it inside, into it. And the reason why you don't wanna to put too much is that it's, it might come out on this side and it might, you know, make the window look really greasy and stuff. So we just wanna make sure we put it inside the track and along the sides of it, but not too much. They will have a little bit of runoff, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and do it. So you can see, you could put in to slide it all and make sure it's, it guides you really easily. But yeah, you, it goes on clear and just run your finger up and down this thing and make sure it runs in. But don't get it on top. You don't want to put it on the top rail. You just want to put it on the side up and down rails. But yeah, let's get some more of this. Just run it up and down, mainly on the the soft side of this. And your fingers should be able to fit through it. My fingers are pretty, no, it's okay, it's kind of thin. But, and you might want to just clean up the edge real fast just to make sure it doesn't go over. And you'll probably have to do a little clean up like with tissue or something. Just make sure, you know, these parts where the oil, the grease is, isn't, you know, dirty up any clothing or anything. And for this side, same thing. So we're going to do this on all four sides. We'll get some more grease. Run it in between the weather stripping. Yeah, this is what I've been doing for the past several years just to make sure it runs well and it's smooth throughout the years I've been using this car. But yeah, just give it a little grease, make sure it goes inside. Uh, definitely on, especially on the weather stripping. And then push it all the way in. And we'll probably do a little cleanup a little later. In fact, let's just do a quick wipe here to make sure it doesn't hit on the outside. And also here too. Good. Uh, let's go to the other side. Same thing, we're just redoing all this for each side. Yeah, it should be very smooth. Just make sure it's a nice coating of it. Run a few times, it should be extremely smooth. Just make sure you clean up afterwards or else it's going to look really bad. Um, the re reason why I'm using uh, silicone sil guide is that it doesn't, seem to, it doesn't affect the tint, which is the best thing. I was afraid that it's going to affect the tint and ruin my tint, so this actually doesn't do anything to it. And it doesn't do anything bad to the rubber as well. So, and make sure you get it all the way in there for, for the for this one. It's getting hot. Yeah, as it gets hotter, I noticed that the windows bind up during the summer seasons and stuff when it gets really hot and a lot of dust and stuff. So summer and spring season. And I would hate it to have it bind during um, when it rains during the winter. So I usually try to do this during the summer time. Just to, it just as a maintenance, a yearly maintenance thing to do. Um, most people don't have this issue. I mean, most Hondas probably, they probably fixed it by then. But for this one, and for probably a few people out there, they have this issue with uh, the windows binding. But yeah, this is the quick fix version, or this is how you do it. If you want to keep your car for a long, long time. But yeah. So I put a good layer of that stuff in there, and it should be good. Get that in nice and smooth, super smooth. So, you're gonna probably run up the windows up and down a few times and make sure it's spread up and down, but make sure you do not put it on the top edge, only on this the two vertical um, 
outside. So don't ever put it on the top. It's just going to make everything dirty out for the window. I tried it once. Not fun. I had to reclean everything. So, anywho, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, since we already, we just cleaned it, we put the new silk silk light on there. Um, silicone grease on the edges on this edge, the front on both passenger side and driver side, and the top edge on this one too. So basically, after you do that, just make sure you run the windows up and down, up and down. Just make sure all that stuff is going through and it doesn't catch anymore. It was starting to catch, and that's why I'm doing this video. Because once it hits about here, you guys see that the thing starts catching and it doesn't want to move. So, it'll be bad if it's stuck there. So, always clean it and then um, put new grease there. It is, I think, a flaw of Honda that actually, you know, but they try to correct it. I just didn't. Yeah, it does it does get a little dirty, so after the first run or two, make sure you wipe clean all that grease or else it's gonna get pretty dirty. So just make sure you wipe it after you're done. And that's about it. After you finish, go ahead and just there will be some grease that comes out to the side, just wipe it off of a tissue paper towel and just make sure it's clean. Just a little housekeeping stuff. But yeah, just wipe off any access that comes out and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any other comments and stuff that are leave on the comments but this is what I've been doing for the past you know every you know year to two years or if it's a really dusty season those tracks do get dirty and you have to clean it out and once you clean it out it runs a lot smoother anyways thanks for watching have a good one bye oh like subscribe and all that fun stuff thank you